was contacted by the Ministry of Justice and it was actually some contractors that were developing like the interior design of the building and initially it was about two interior walls and they were pretty much signed off and those walls sort of became unavailable. We kind of quickly adapted those interior designs to the exterior one uh, and it worked out quite nicely. You know, they're quite a recognisable part of New Zealand culture, the, the birds, and I think that's because they're our main native animal. They have a big history with Māori culture, and I think that makes it an even stronger case. Someone once told me that I had made like native New Zealand bird art cool, and I suppose that's like a simplification of what I have tried to do. I've taken a subject that has been done before, um, but I've tried to you know, put my own spin on it and I've been able to develop my own style from it. And it's been an amazing vessel that's probably sped up that process. The progression of what can be done with a spray can or the evolution of you know, graffiti and street art as an art form, I mean, the technology itself has gotten a lot better. You know, there's a wide range of caps and different brands you can play with. For a long time, I thought it was like cheating to use stencils or masks or all sorts of these, like, what I now consider tools. You know, it doesn't really matter what tools you use to get the job done. They're just processes to get where you want to be. Really, as an artist, the ultimate goal is to articulate an idea. I mean, for myself, I want to do that in a really like beautiful and stylized way. I almost care more about developing a style right now in my career than I do about what I'm trying to say. I've got a long time ahead of me to try and think about that.